Good evening. My name is James Trantham. Tonight we're going to be discussing the Cow Pens National Battlefield Park near Chesney, South Carolina. This was the site of the Battle of Cow Pens, American victory over the British. Now the Battle of Cow Pens was the first in a series of battles, victories and defeat that went from cow pen, starting cow pens, went to Kings Mountain in North Carolina, just outside of Charlotte, all the way up to Guilford County Courthouse near there, near Greensboro, North Carolina, which the British lost. And that was a series of battles that law made Cornwallis and the British lose enough soldiers and tire them out that they had to eventually go Wilmington and was forced out to go north into Yorktown to rest and recover. And that's where George Washington, his army managed to corner him and force a surrender. Now, the battle and the men that fought in this battle, the Battle of Calpins, is one of the battles that influenced um, the big battle scene at the end of the movie, The Patriot. So if you see The Patriot, that is a generalization of what had happened in uh, at Calpins. Now, the battlefield itself is a nice little visit. It's not that big. I mean, a car loop around it, you, um, there's a car loop around it, and there's a walking trail through there and bike trail. You could spend at least an hour there if there's special events or if you're walking that whole trail. You could take two hours or even more, just depending on how long you want to take. Now, the battlefield itself, this is a pamphlet I've got. Shows the battlefield. Um, it's not that distant, not that, that big of a battle. I'll show you here because I can get a free hand. There's a visitor center here. If you see that, there's you come in this way, the visitor center. Battlefields right here and around it is a car trail. The Green River Road goes right through it. That's where the British would have came up this way and to meet the Americans and uh, were defeated here at this area. Uh, years afterwards, after the battle, late uh, eight, early 1800s, the the uh, Robert Robert Shrug, Scruggs lived here, a house here, and visitors would show up here as house to be shown where the battlefield was. There, the house is still there today. Picnic area, there's special events here also. Um, they have reenactors that will come by. I was there just a few weeks ago. Uh, saw the South Carolina Rangers in full uniform demonstrating rifle, a rifle musket and a shotgun from the era. Uh, reproductions and they were showing how it gave us a black powder demonstration. Also at their shop itself you can an extra book you can get the walking guide. This is actually an interesting guide. It was put forth by the author had help from a local ROTC unit um, from Georgia who helped him put together all the information, the lieutenant colonel in charge of it. Um, excuse me, I'm recovering from a cold. Um, or coming down with one. The, um, he was helped by Lieutenant Colonel um, Mir, who's a professor of military science at the time in Georgia. This book was written back in 93, so the, um, the professor may not be there at the college anymore, but it's a nice little book. It has maps in here and shows you if you you could take this and take the walking trail or even the car trail around and it will give you a detailed um, instruction on where the men were located and how they moved and what time. I would recommend if you're ever in South Carolina to go here to this area, visit. They're having another reenactment in October on the 6th, which is next Saturday, actually. Um, it's the night before Kings Mountain. They have a 6 p.m. as a outdoor drama living history event uh, so it shows the over mountain men and the two weeks leading up to the Battle of Kings Mountain um, interesting events going on 
nice little area, so I would recommend this to anyone. Thank you. Have a good night.